So in this lecture, we're going to look at the three right-hand rules used in physics. So let's begin with right-hand rule number one. Now, right-hand rule number one is used to find the magnetic field produced by electric current in our wire, or its direction, the motion that our magnetic field makes. So let's begin by looking at the following wire. Suppose we have a very long wire and our electrons in this wire are moving in this direction. That means our current by convention will move in the opposite direction and it will travel this way. Now to use my right hand rule number one, I simply, I take my right hand and I orient my thumb in the direction of my current. So if my current is going this way, I orient my thumb pointing in the same direction. And then I simply grab my wire. And the motion that my hand makes is the same motion that my magnetic field makes. So that means my magnetic field will go this way. It will make concentric circles around my wire pointing in this direction. So if I flip this, rotate this, and look at the aerial view looking from top to bottom, I will see the following picture. Where this is my wire, the dot in the middle simply represents that my current is going out of the page or out of the board, and that means I use my right hand rule once more, and so my thumb points outward because that's where my current is traveling, and now I simply grab onto my wire and the motion my hand makes once again is the motion that my magnetic field makes. So these arrows represent the direction that my magnetic field travels. It goes this way. So at this point in time it looks this way, at this point in time it looks upward, at this point in time it looks this way, and at that point in time it looks downward. Now suppose my current was going this way. Now if my current was going this way, once again I take my right hand rule and I orient my thumb in the direction of my current. So we're assuming it's going this way now. So I orient this way and once more I grab my wire and now this is the motion that my magnetic field will make and the motion will be in opposite or reverse to what we drew here. So instead of going this way, now my magnetic field will be going this way. Likewise here, my magnetic field will be going this way and not this way. So that's how you use right hand rule number one. Let's look at right hand rule number two. Now this right hand rule is used to find our direction of the force on electric current produced by a magnetic field. Remember, any magnet will produce a force on a current or on a, a wire that's carrying a current if that current is placed into that field. So suppose we have the following magnet, so north to south, so our magnetic field lines are pointing this way and they're straight. Now suppose we take a wire that's carrying a current that's going out of the page and we place it into our magnetic field. So once again, our current is traveling out of the page and our magnetic field lines are going this way. So now I have to use my right hand rule a little bit differently. Now I take my entire palm and I point it in the direction of my current. So since my current is coming out of the page, I point it out of the page. And now <clears throat> I have to rotate my hand in the direction that my magnetic field lines are pointing. And since they're going this way, I have to rotate my hand going this way. So current is going this way. My magnetic field lines are going this way, and now to find my force, I simply raise my thumb up. And this will be the direction of my force. And notice it's both, it's both perpendicular to my magnetic field lines and my current. And that's exactly right. Now suppose I reverse my direction of the current, and now the current is flowing into the page. Once again, I could use the same rule. And now I orient my hand into the page and now I have to go this way, right? Because my force or my magnetic field lines are still going this way. So I orient into the page, my current is traveling into the page and then I orient it this way. And I simply raise my thumb and now we see my force it is pointing downwards. And that's exactly right. Because if our magnetic field stays the same and I flip my direction, my current, my force will flip. 
that magnitude will stay the same, but my force will flip. And that you use right hand rule number two. So let's look at our right hand rule number three. This guy is used to find the force or direction of our force on electric charge, on a positive electric charge produced by a magnetic field. So let's look at the following example. Suppose once again we have a north and a south pole magnet and that means our field lines are pointing this way from north to south. And so I allow a positive charge to flow this way. So my charge is flowing downward while my field lines are going this way. So once again I use the same exact rule I used here. Except now this represents the velocity vector of my charge. So my charge is moving this way and my field lines are pointing this way. So this is where my current this is where my charge is traveling to downward and this is where my field lines are traveling to. So this way, this way. And once again I simply flip my thumb up and this is the direction of my force. And that means that when my charge, my positive charge, will be flowing downward, it will be moving out of the page. So as it flows, it will be traveling out, 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 like so. Now the velocity of it, will, or the magnitude of the velocity, will stay the same, but it's going to move in a circular path. Notice that our force likewise, like in this case, it's also uh, perpendicular to both the velocity and the magnetic field lines. Now note this, this hand only, or this right hand rule number three, only works for positive charge. If this was a negative charge, I would have to use my right hand rule number three, but then I have to simply reverse my direction. So let's suppose this is a negative charge traveling downward in the same magnetic field. So once again, I use the same exact rule. I point it downward, and then I point it this way, and now I raise my thumb up. But now since I'm dealing with a negative charge, I have to reverse my direction. So, so the force is actually not outward, but it's inward. And now suppose I reverse my direction of my positive charge. Now suppose my positive charge is going upward. So once again, I use the same rule. My charge is going upward and my field lines are going this way. So that means my force, I raise my thumb, is going this way. So if my charge is moving upward, not downward, then it will move into the page because the force will be into the page.